Good day people, welcome to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Green. In today's video we are going to analyze gold and silver. We'll have a look at monthly trend and then we'll also zoom in to see weekly or daily trend. Uh, here in front of you is uh, our example from last week analysis. In our previous analysis uh, I forecasted that gold will go up and that we did see some price action going in the similar direction. So we'll discuss more about gold and silver in in the following discussion here. Let's have a look at the chart of uh, gold and silver. Before we can go ahead on and discuss the daily chart, I want to go and uh, discuss some uh, monthly chart price movement. So we all know that as per uh, Elliott wave analysis, all five wave structures are followed by three wave structures. So I'm clearly looking at uh, the five wave structure and uh, most of people are actually agree that this is a five wave structure and then it should follow by a three wave structure. The m main point of discussion is that either the three wave structure has completed over here. If it has completed over here, then we are in a major bull market. And the point here is that, first of all, there are a couple of points. First of all, the time frame for this is too short as compared to the previous impulse wave. So this looks too short as for a correction. The second point is if it is a correction then if you look at the price analysis price is not agreeing it don't don't look at the just uh, wave just look at the price behavior as we created a new top prices has reversed I know the structure is really messy but I'm not discussing the structure the whole point is that prices went up and they have been rejected in last five six months now let's consider one two three four five six so last seven months the prices have been rejected if it was some sort of uh, accumulation pattern then the wood prices would have continued fallen back and created some accumulation pattern on top of previous top not rejected and then came after and then this is actually creating a distribution so I don't believe this is an accumulation of the fund. This is actually distribution of the positions of the long positions. That's why we can see the price were rejected. Prices came below, and right now we are seeing messing, uh, messy situation here in analysis. So in order to look at this, this messy situation, we have to zoom in. There is still no very clear price pattern if you look at a monthly time frame. I would give one example right over here. We had created a quite a good strong. It's been going on for a while, right? But we had created, it looked like that we had created an accumulation pattern, but the pattern actually broke through and gave us an indication that it was not an accumulation pattern, rather a distribution pattern, and then it followed a long trend downwards. So let's have a look at the weekly chart. And we can clearly see some sort of swings that have been going down right we have seen clear rejection of price as well and then went up and then we have seen clear rejection again prices went up again and then we have seen another rejection prices attempted to go up and then we have seen another clear rejection so it's not exactly the stair uh, pattern that the lower low and the lower high pattern that we are seeing there is some mess right over here especially with this price movement going up it has created more doubt in people's head the situation the reality here, here is that we still are going downward we are not going upward if you start looking from that top the trend is downward no matter uh, the, f the smallest details of the patterns the point here is that the trend itself rather really messy is still going down and that's a major point in in gold analysis once again have a look at the monthly time frame and we can clearly see that the prices actually did try to go up very solid green bar right over here but that prices were rejected from the top as well so that's an important point that uh, we have to make in our analysis if you look at previous supports although none of the previous support is broken apart from this very last channel that were actually uh, encompassing the five wave structure so apart from this s small degree uh, channel we have not seen any solid support especially if you look at the horizontal support this region is very important for sure for the initial uh, price action to confirm then this comes a very important level but if you look at them they are quite far as far as the uh, the diagonal support is concerned if we can drive to the side diagonal support this is too far for 
for prices to fall and give us a signal it will be far away for prices to fall from the top so it is not really a good um, tool to use in this kind of correctional patterns or in this kind of price movement so if you look at this still much better as compared to so we can still use this this is much better tool as compared to using an external one we can use the internal trend line let me delete it for now to clear the chart so if you are new to the channel welcome to the channel Elliot wave principle principle I'm your host and we will be discussing gold and silver the whole purpose of this channel is to create objective view of price movement not only give long-term trends but look at the objective price views so we can actually create some trading setups for us uh, so if you are trading please use money management rules of course any advice you take from the channel is not responsible for your pro losses or profits so we in this at the end of the at the end of the analysis I will be showing my little trade that I have started a couple of days ago actually a day ago so I'll be sharing that too let's have a look at daily time frame now so I have been considering that the we have already created a top and I have an assumption that this is wave C of the expanded flat and this is uh, my assumption and I'm taking that assumption long and I have reasons for that which I already discussed so considering that in mind I've considered this as wave 1 wave 2 is truncated with double zigzag then we have wave 1 of smaller degree and then we have a flat correction which is wave A wave B and wave C and then we have seen another five wave structure within that five wave structure if you look at it four within that five wave structure we have seen wave 1 wave 2 wave 3 wave 4 and then wave 5 and then after that we have created a massive expanded flat correction that's what I'm expecting it so we have wave A wave B and then wave C right going on we weren't expecting the price to go that deep but uh, the price has gone deep and it does not mean that it actually has created a top right over here the pattern that actually started right from here is yet not complete I'm considering this whole price movement from this bottom as an expanded ending diagonal so wave 1 wave 2 wave 3 wave 4 I believe is complete right now and we will be pushing upward so if prices this is pretty tight stop I'm talking about if prices had to move below this point area this means that there is something significantly wrong initially I stated that this and now how we have moved our tr um, significant point of uh, being wrong in our labeling from this point to this point right so on a 15 minute chart if you look at it we have basically considered a uh, wave A, wave B a flat correction and wave C an ending diagonal so wave 1 right over here completes, wave 2 completes right over here wave 3 completes over right over here, wave 4 completes right over here and then wave 5 completes right over here so we can draw a support line for that ending diagonal especially wave 3 and 4, wave 2 and 4 and we can see that the prices have actually jumped up pretty sharply as they are expected to do from ending diagonals and then we have find the support and prices have jumped up again so so far we are on the way to our uh, top being created somewhere over in this region or it could go to somewhere over in this region next few days are really important for the short bullish uh, move that we are expecting in uh, in gold market so once again have a once and one thing I want to add over here right now as far as Elliott wave concern I my own uh, trend of my own style of analysis that I look at five wave pattern and a correction and then move on so these correct these price price uh, labeling does not have to stay as they are we'll have to probably readjust them a bit in the future so in next few days I'm bullish on gold and silver if you are actually thinking that this content has some value please subscribe because the prices movements do occur during the middle of the week and then I sh uh, share my content during mid of week as well so if you want to take benefit from it or if you want to see my opinion please go ahead push that thumbs up button it helps YouTube to uh, provide this content to like-minded people who can actually see a different opinion from what do they have 
let's have a look at silver I want to see the larger price movement I will have discussed the larger price movement first and then we'll discuss so if you look at the mm, uh, the bullish a huge bullish move made by silver it looks that we already have completed the bottom for silver market once the bottom is complete the price do not simply move in a straight line like we did over here that is because the last end of the uh, trend the actual trend started way ago and then actually all of the initial trend moves in waves this was the last wave part of wave 5 and that's extreme price movement so we we have to understand that if this has to be if this is the bottom of silver market then we are going to create quite a bit of lengthier wave 2 we have completed wave 1 already that's what I'm considering this as wave 1 and on a weekly time frame this is what I'm considering wave 1 and we have to complete a messier uh, wave 2 more time consuming it could be deep <coughs> excuse me so this wave could go deep and that's what I'm considering right now I'm considering this as wave A of a flat correction this as wave B of the flat correction and I'm considering that wave C is going to be deep in somewhere in this region or it could go even to this region for wave C of silver let's have a look at daily movement for hourly movement all right so I'm considering this as a small five wave structure on an hourly chart is much better let me yeah I'm considering this as a five wave structure this is small degree wave one small degree wave two small degree wave three wave four right over here and then wave five right over here and then we are expecting that price would go up in my previous analysis previous weekly analysis gold was silver was trading somewhere right around a year and I did forecast that we were seeing prices movement all the way up prices did move up but it managed to create some correction which is giving an indication that this is not an expanded flat wave A wave B and wave C this is not the case which you are considering initially so we have to come up with labor alternate waving count uh, alternate wave count for silver so I'm considering this as wave A this as wave B which seems clearly zig double zigzag let's have a look on a 15 minute chart to explain to you so I'm considering this as a single zigzag a correction another zigzag and I'm expecting the prices would follow right over here in my pre couple of days ago analysis I clearly indicated actually on Friday morning that we were to see a small price movement downward and then upward and then we have exactly seen that so I'm expecting in next few days that we are going to create wave C of the expand uh, of the zigzag pattern we already completed wave A we have completed wave B and then we are to create wave C so if you are want to have some guidelines on how to trade that so you can use the channel which is pretty awesome at this level so this you can use this and then we have wave 2 right over here and then this wave uh, sorry wave 4 right over here and then wave 2 right over here so if you look at it this actually comes in that region area right so this actually sh probably looks a good price target zone for silver to be in the next few days so once again if you think that my content is uh, may have some value please push that thumbs up button if you want if you put thumbs down that's really helpful too comment uh, that how did you like analysis or what else you're thinking and uh, it's good to have a different voice thank you so much have a good one and bye bye